talk about like the us versus them, the hero and the villain when you're writing, you know, smaller copy. Is there a way for Amazon sellers to kind of incorporate that concept? First, I guess, tell everybody what that concept is and then um, how that can maybe even be yeah. related in an Amazon product listing. So, okay, yeah, that's a great question. Um, so there is this concept like in brand positioning where if um, a lot of brands like to say, oh, we stand for sustainability or we stand for like, you know, helping moms nurture their children and all those things are lovely, um, but they don't necessarily make you stand out. So what you can do is what's called identifying a villain and kind of positioning yourself as the hero, which is interesting because a lot of people talk about making the customer the hero all the time, but it's a lot deeper than that. And I've I plan to make more videos on this, but um, so one of the ways you can really show how your brand stands out is that if you identify an external villain, it could be a philosophical problem. It could be a physical problem that perhaps your customer is experiencing or a pain point and you show how your brand can triumph over that, you know, that problem or that issue um, that your customer is experiencing. And that way um, it kind of like rallies people to take action and it really helps your customers um, feel motivated to buy from you. So the way that people can do that in their Amazon listings is it's tough because I'm not, I'm not like in fairy world here. Like I do know that a lot of people don't read the bullet points on Amazon. They kind of gloss over um, those things, unless like you said, it's a really high ticket item. They, they have specific questions that they want to figure out. So I think the way to do this is I, you have to do some work before you get started writing the listing. Like don't just jump into the listing. Like write some ideas down on a paper. What pain points my customers experience? Are those internal emotional problems? Are they physical problems? And then you can kind of call those out in the images with short, concise slogans that are snappy and easy for people to understand or in your A plus content. Or even the brand story section is a great place for kind of showing how your brand, um, yeah, can really help the customer overcome whatever issue it is that they're experiencing. So, uh, I'm trying to think of a concrete example here um, to to really, yeah, well, I mean, I'll I like give an example that I gave that on my, showed, yeah. In the video you showed, it was, it's just kind of a us versus them. And although they didn't name their competitors, yes. they kind of showed that cheap version. Correct. Of like, Here is us and all of these things and checking the boxes, kind of like the check marks and the X's of like the green and the yeah. red and kind of visually just showing here's us, here's why we're better. Here's them. And here's why they stink. <laughs> and like, just kind of yeah, you know, putting exactly. that into a checklist form, I think is a very visual. But what help. was really great. Yeah. About that example that you that I gave was um, that they the thing is if you try and identify too many problems then it gets a little fuzzy for the customer so this brand was actually a smoothie brand called Genius Juice and they basically lump all of the so-called enemies together and they've called it dumb stuff and dumb stuff includes anything from additives to fake natural ingredients to tons of sugar and so then it's very clear to the customer who the enemy is which is the dumb chemical based ingredients and how they win because they don't have any of those things mm. um yeah i really recommend people check it out because then you'll really understand exactly how that brand does it but it's it's very clever positioning yeah yeah 